Hey guys, what is up? Becro Jack here, and today I will be showing you how to install Not Enough Items mod for Minecraft. And my version for Minecraft right now is 1.6.4, but I believe that this will work for any future versions. You just have to use my method, and this should work for you. So let's get right into it, guys. These are the two things that you're going to need, so let's first off show you how to get them. So let's open the window that I have. Uh, the links will be in the description below, just in case you don't know where you're going. But uh, it's 9 Minecraft. This is where you're going to get it for 1.6.4. If you scroll down, there will be a few videos. But uh, this is also another tutorial, I believe, on how to get it. But let's go down here. You have to download it from one of these servers. So you have to click it, and then you kind of just have to click download, and it'll start downloading it for you, which is really awesome, really nice and fast. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to go to the second link over here, which is uh, chicken bones, and you need the code chicken core. So this is very important. This is what makes it all works. Um, this is what I forget the creator's name of this mod. It's I normally know it, but for some reason I'm just not getting it right now. But uh, he made this, so most of his mods use this code chicken core. So you're going to need to download that as well. But once you have them both downloaded, uh, like I do on my desktop, you're just going to want to drag them to your desktop. And then you're going to go to your search bar and go to percent app data percent. And you're going to get to your Minecraft folder. Uh, if you're using Windows 8 or possibly Mac, there are different methods of getting to your Minecraft folder. But all you really need, need to do is get to this folder, figure out how there's probably other tutorials on how to do that. I just demonstrated how to do it for Windows 7 PC. But uh, you're going to have to figure it out on your own for different versions of Windows or on an iMac. So then you're going to navigate to mods. So I already, uh, I already put these two folders in there, as you can see. And I also have a test mod in there. So I have not enough item, items for 1.6.4 and the code chicken core and also damage indicators and shaders because I use both those mods in my videos. I actually, this is the outdated damage indicators, but I think it still works. And uh, once you do generate uh, up Minecraft, it'll make this 1.6.4 folder, which is just like the universal mod that um, automatically generates. It's like kind of, I believe, a uh, code chicken core generates this. Uh, I don't know really what the functionality, like what it does, but it's just there. So let's, uh, after you have that all set up, I will show you that it works. You just go into Minecraft 1.6, and you have to make sure that you have a file that has uh, Minecraft Forge. So I just use it as shaders. There are other tutorials on that as well. I might, I might do another tutorial on how to do that, how to get mod and stuff. But I will probably also include a link on where to get Minecraft Forge, the latest version. You're going to need to install that as well for this to work because you are loading mods. And then you're going to have to set up um, a profile. I don't know if you guys know how to do that. All you got to do is hit on new profile. And you have to make sure that you are using the, uh, the version that the Forge will create when you do install the Forge. So once you install it, it'll create some sort of something like this like release 1.6.4 you're gonna make sure you use this version and once you do you use that version um, it should make sure that it's uh, it uses all the mods so I just made a copy but let's just use my regular one and then you're gonna hit play so let's see what happens here uh, it I did generate up a world and I also show you that the mod recipes and everything like that works that's the main reason that I'm using it is for recipes and such because it's just gonna be really helpful in my opinion so there we have it, eight mods loaded. Let's check what mods they are. We have the code chicken core and the not enough items. So that's good. Let's uh, make sure that everything is running smoothly in my mod world. Where I had just a little demonstration set up with the elevator mod, which I might actually do a mod showcase on in the future. So as you can see, this is like a giant elevator. But let's go into here. As you can see, you have the functionality of not enough items. Say I hit this recipe, which, which is R. It'll show me how to craft this stuff, like an elevator base. And um, what, uh, what was the other thing? Like an up part. It'll show me how to craft all these things if you just hit R. And there's also another, I mean, other things that you could do with this. Like you can really easily get to blocks if you go into, oh God, the options are a little bit different, I believe in uh, the newest update but you can like turn rain on which I don't know why any any of you would turn the rain on you could set the time normally if you hit on options it'll give you like a different thing of options but I, ju I just guess I'm not used to this yet ah here we go it's a new functionality oh 
uh, uses of wraps. So if I go, you could change different modes and stuff, but you'll just figure that out for yourself. Obviously, it's nice to mess around with. But yeah, that was really it, guys. I will go of this elevator just for the fact that the tutorial is over and just for some fun. I'll change into game mode zero just to make it even more interesting. Game mode zero. So, oh god, which way do I fall? Oh god, okay, let's get this right. So anyway, as I'm going up, um, oh god, okay, uh, I think it was this way. Oh god, come on, please, please, please. I gotta land on the other elevator. Oh sh! Oh no. Well, um, I fell from a high place, but that is it. That is how you install not enough items for Minecraft 1.6.4 and possibly any other version of Minecraft. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and I hope it helps you. Make sure to post a like, I mean post a comment or a like saying that it worked for you. Or if you have any problems, make sure to post a comment as well. But that is really it guys. My name is Zuckbro Jack and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.